everybody said it was impossible. I got the first 10 feet done. It was hard. The next 10 feet were a little bit easier. Everything that I've done here has been done by hand. When driving through South Glastonbury, this isn't exactly what you'd expect to find on a local farm. My father's father's father bought the farm in 1903 when we immigrated from Northern Italy. Farming has changed over the years. You need to sell an experience nowadays. So I decided I would build a railroad here on the property. It's a full-size railroad. For the past three years, John Cavana has been building tracks by hand and restoring cars and locomotives. The stone we make here on site, that's how I came up with the name Gray Granite. Opened a quarry on the top of the property where we blast and crush the stone to make our own ballast here for the railroad. Bringing every childhood dream and his own to life. One of the larger railroads in the greater Hartford area allowed me to come work with them. and I went to work with them for free. I learned how rail is assembled, how gauge is kept, how ties are laid, and what's required for ballast when you're doing all of that. You look at railroad track and it looks very simple. It is the farthest thing from simple. Conductor 1903, you're clear northbound for 12. Start your show. And if you weren't busy enough running the farm and railroad, you've also got another full-time job. I'm a police officer for one of the major cities here in the state of Connecticut. This is my job away from my other job. I'm a huge history buff. All of my equipment here is at least 50 years old. Part of the love affair of restoring something, you find things that are, were just lost in time. I was fortunate enough to find two matching cabooses. I purchased them from the Long Island Railroad, and they are what became my passenger cars. For seven years, I've been looking for a steam engine, and I finally was able to acquire a steam locomotive in Canada. Now I'm gonna be starting a restoration on the steam locomotive next. And then, building the North Pole, of course. One of our largest crops is Christmas trees. We've been growing Christmas trees here at the farm since 1950. During the month of December, folks will be able to board the train, ride to meet Santa, and get their Christmas tree at the same time. I have plans to put another mile into the back part of the farm. We'll have different stops for different crops at different times of the year. The best feedback I can get is a big smile on a child. They absolutely go nuts over trains. It is a lot of hard work, but nothing's impossible if you look at it in, in matter of feet.